Hello and welcome to Stream Tabulous. Uh, unfortunately, we're going to have to put up with the annoying neighbor's dog, which is constantly barking and howling today. Uh, they've gone on holidays, they've left at home, and it's just been going non stop. Uh, so, I want to talk about Koya SS. Um, I'm going to get sidetracked by that damn thing. Um, I've done a video on how to install it, uh, but. Um, it needs a little bit of a refresher. Uh, Koya SS is a extraordinarily fussy little program uh, that needs basically the right set of conditions to work correctly. And minor little changes on your system can completely nerf it and stop it from working correctly, which is a complete pain in the butt. So what I've done is I've created a toolkit which um, pretty much has taken up my entire cloud to um, upload it. And it consists of everything that you need to install to get it working and the correct versions of those programs to actually get it working. So we'll just move over to the other screen and I'll um, show you. Okay, so here we have the CUDA that you want to install here. You won't have this one. This is the one that you'll be downloading. So I've packaged it all together. It's 3.3 uh, gigs. So you, it'll have CUDA. It'll have MPEG. It'll have Git. Python 3.10.6. Um, Queer only really works with 3.10.6. And I think it's 3.10.8. And then you'll have your um, your visual, your, your Microsoft uh, Visual Basics um or visual studio i think they call it now so you can install c and i recommend install python as well uh, there's two versions one is online so it will download everything it needs online the other is a uh, self-contained kit now come across i'll leave a link to um the developer of the uh queer program in the link below uh, this is the walkthrough of the tools that you'll be uh, downloading and installing. And he tells you to how to actually install them. Uh, he recommends that uh, you install it as the tools for everyone rather than for this user, as that will help the uh, program. So I found that to be uh, rather interesting. Um, yeah, I didn't talk about installing FFmpeg. Uh, I didn't think it was actually... Um, I mean, coming and watching through this video, I was uh, surprised to see it. So I don't know how Queer actually uses that, but uh, apparently it does. Um, now, I have uh, a Kodak toolkit installed uh, for videos, and that actually has this in it. So uh, that might be one of the things some people are running into a problem um, because, uh, yeah, you don't see it. Uh, even when you come through on the page itself for install, installing queer it doesn't actually talk about a lot of these tools here so the fact that it doesn't mention these tools may be one of the reasons a lot of people are actually having problems so i recommend watch this video and go through his installation of how to actually install the um the tools okay uh, once you've done that, you can do the git pull. Uh, now, if you've watched the other videos, you'll know what I mean. Um, I'm only editing the old video and basically splicing it together to show you quickly how to install. So it's not going in depth with um, the toolkit. So it's not going through and saying, hey, install this, this, and this. Uh, basically, I've gone through and I've uh, just said, Look, install Python, uh, install CUDA. So um, you want to keep that in mind when you're watching the video that you want to install the other ones as well, the FMPEG, and he'll show you how to do that in his video, which is uh, pretty elaborate. Uh, he'll also show you how to move it up so you can have multiple uh, versions of Python, which I found interesting. So rather than using the default installation path, he's creating an individual path and um, allowing that to link by uh, changing it uh, in the um, in the Windows elements. So we'll go through and um, I'll go to the video where I've cut it to help explain how to actually install it. Uh, of course, I think we'll go to the intro first.
So we'll come over here and we're on uh, the Git now. So we just downloaded it, which is right here because we're downloading it for Windows. And we're just going to install that. So we're just going to click Next. We're going to install Git. We're just going to leave it as it is. I don't mind that. I'm not going to touch anything. I'm just going to let it run. Git. Uh, what is this? Uh, da, 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 choosing the default uh, editor. Git. Da, 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 da. Not going to touch anything there. I'm going to leave that. Let Git decide. Sounds good to me. Recommended. We'll leave that. Yep, we'll leave that. And we're not going to change anything because uh, I don't know what I'd be changing if I did it. So we're just going to next, 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 next. I'm going to keep going. And we'll let it run. And yeah, um, yeah. if you don't know what you're clicking, the best is just leave it on its default. They make these installers um, so people that are a bit simple like me and don't understand um, code and uh, all these little who's and who's it's built in can use it. So we don't need to see that. We're done. After you've done that, we want to come across and we want to install Python. I've actually installed this already. Again, it's one of those things you just go next, next, next. Um, if there is something on it to install, I would recommend that. So if you come down, this is the installer here. Um, we could click modify. Uh, no, we won't do that. Uh, the first time you run it, down the bottom here, uh, there'll be another option. Just click that box as well. Make sure that you uh, do all the options. So there is one unchecked. Tick it. Okay. Uh, yep, we want to cancel that. Okay, you do need an NVIDIA graphics card as I posted uh, coming up on the screen in the beginning. Um, you will need to come across to the NVIDIA development, NVIDIA.com. Uh, if you type in to Google um, CUDA toolkit, the first link will bring you to this page. You'll get this, just press the cross here. And then all you're going to do is come through, select your Windows operating system, select your architecture, select the version of Windows that you're running, and download the EXE for local, and install that. Uh, what that's going to do is it's going to put specifically CUDA drivers on your system for your NVIDIA graphics card. And that's going to allow um, this program of uh, Queer SS to interface and talk directly to the CUDA drivers so it can do its job more proficiently um, efficiently uh, you can use it without the kit but the time to do the render to create the model is astronomically larger um, so you really do want to put this in uh, you'll find this kit and having these drivers installed will actually also speed up easy diffusion, stable diffusion. So it's as simple as just download it and install it next, next, next. And that's that. So now we'll go back across and show you how to um, actually set up Queer SS. Okay, so once you've installed everything that you actually need, and as I uh, recommended, um, go to that video and follow his tutorial on installing that toolkit. Uh, once that's done, you can just come across to um, GitHub, which I'll leave the link in the description below. Okay, this is the Queer SS website. So what we wanna do is you've installed Git. So if you create a folder and we come down, scrolling, scrolling, and skip all this, Try not to go too fast. This here, we want to copy that there. And then we just, once we've got Git installed, we can copy this here, the Git pull address. And we can come across, just create a new folder. So I've called this one Queer SS. Come up to the top line, um, the folder search directory location, type CMD which is going to open up your Windows command line interface. From there, you can just right click, which will paste that copied link, and then just hit enter. And from there, it's gonna go through and it's going to um, create everything that it's needed. So it's come through and it looks like it's done there. That back over there. And we can see it all here. Okay, uh, from there, uh, we'll install that um, the CUDA file that's recommended to drop in here, and then I'll show you how to install it.
So if you have a, um, a weaker graphics card, uh, and I think um, NVIDIA, which is under a gig, uh, sorry, under eight gig, you're going to need to scroll down until you see the word, there we go, CUDA, okay. We wanna download this file here. And once that file is downloaded, we want to extract that file and we want to drop that extracted file into here, okay? Now, it should look like this. We don't want a subfolder and a subfolder. We want it to look like that. So if you've got subfolders, take the subfolder out and just make it as I have here. Okay, so I've ran it. And again, it's taken uh, about 15 minutes uh, to do its uh, installation. And we can come down, we can actually take a look at if Windows is actually trying to install anything. So if we go to our task manager, we go to our performances and we come across here, we should be able to see what's going on. Oh, it is downloading files and it is downloading a lot of files. So we're gonna let this run for a couple of minutes and we're gonna come back sure. and as I showed before with the network running in the background. Now we're just gonna say yes, it is this machine that we're running it on. So we're gonna go through yes. No, I do not have multiple GPUs, so we're gonna leave that as is. No disputed training. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. You want to run training on CPU only? No, I don't want to run it on the CPU only, so we'll type no into there. Okay. Do you wish to optimize, I don't know what Dynamo is, so we'll say no to that. No to this. What GPUs should be used for the training of this machine? Well, all of them, definitely all. So they may be case sensitive. So type as you actually see it. Okay. Ah, FP16 is the older style. Uh, FB16 is the 30 series and up. So we want to arrow down to the FP um 16 6 so um 166 okay and we're gonna press enter on that one okay no, that's it now we're done um that's installed so we can press cross but we have those cuda files if you remember in the previous video that we've dropped across um so we want to say install those cuda files which is option two here okay and press that it's going to go through and we're done okay now again from there we want to put in that uh, in browser so if we come down to the GUI and we just go edit and we're going to come down to this uh, CMD line where it says Python we're going to click up against the um, little little who's a medusa there the little um, percentage sign I'm going to put slash slash in In browser that should be spelled right I believe the joys of dyslexia okay Let's save that okay that's it now when we click this it will just automatically open up in the browser so okay and we can see here it's opened up so that's it so that, that's the very important part is it does need the older version of python um, it's unable to use the new version of python so if you've seen the previous video and you're running into those headaches um, delete the folder and just follow this simple little fix and uh, here and again i'll link below for that version of python so install git uh, you can use that git pull. I'll um, just directly link their git pull address um, in my link below. So you can just simply do that in that uh, CMD line of the folder and easily do the directory from there. Okay, so there it is. That's a cut together um, video on installation of Queer and the toolkit that you'll need to install. A uh, link below for the toolkit, link below for the video. Uh, which I recommend watching on how to install those um, programs. And that is um, the key to getting queer 
SS running um, correctly. Uh, I wanted to do a fresh video from beginning to end, but uh, my neurological muscle condition is playing up with the cramps and it's actually uh, damaged my back at the moment, so I'm unable to walk and I'm in a great deal of pain and the sitting doesn't help. So I've chosen to um, edit together um, the videos to show how it's done and um, edit it and add to it to uh, just help explain it in a uh, fast way um, to get you guys on the road to creating your own um, model files for your styles, clothing, uh, faces and uh, whatever your needs may be. Um, I will do a front to end full one later on down the track uh, with the um, installation of the programs, but uh, they're long and they're very, very involved. Um, so yeah, right now my body's no condition to concentrate enough to actually do it. Um, but this video should get you running. And if there's problems that you're having, just, you know, leave a message below and I'll try to help out as usual where I can with the information that I actually have. Uh, so yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe and get the bell on for notifications. Uh, share this video. I believe it will be helpful to others. And uh, yeah, definitely go over and watch that video on how to install those uh, tools. Uh, because of that is, from what he says, is the key to getting all AI programs running smoothly. And it's what everything needs. And it's especially what um, Queer needs to work smoothly. So hopefully this video helps you out. And if it does, hit the like button. Um, if you have any questions, comment below. And I will see you in the next Stream Tabulous video. Thank you for watching my video and sticking around to the end. If you like my videos, it'd really help me out if you could like and subscribe. It helps the YouTube algorithm to push my videos out there to more viewers, which in turn helps me and helps everyone. So thank you for watching my video and hanging around to the end, and I will see you in the next video.